spicy shut up you're ruining the vlog i'm sorry for the words my cat was too noisy i don't totally know how to crumple can you guys help me oh my gosh i should be the one helping you guys to create this one and do some tutorials for you but i'm asking for your help Hello creatives, this is Byron Neal and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'll be explaining to you guys how do I create my digital fashion illustration. But before that, here are some of the fashion illustrations that I've been doing for the past month. Making art through the digital is quite challenging and new to me because I'm much more comfortable in the traditional ones. But I think it's nice to get out in your comfort zone and try something new. Who knows? Your digital illustrations is twice way better than your traditional ones. But of course, we were going to find out later on. I think that's basically it and let's get started. So for this illustration, I'll be using the Adobe Photoshop sketch and I'll be creating a bow gown inspired by George Rebecca. So for here, let's choose the format and here in digital illustrations, we will be using the widescreen. And voila! For the left side, you would see the sketch layers and for the right side, you would see the pencils and the markers that we will be using. So here, we can resize the tip of the pencil and its color so let's try it I think this is pretty good and how about this one? Oh, I think this is the ball pen or the marker I'm not totally sure well I think this is the marker hmm how about this one? Oh, it's quite sticky and for this it's good for the shadows but I'm not totally familiar with it but for this one I'm pretty sure this is the eraser anyways without further ado let's get started I'm going to sketch a vertical line and then going to create some oblong or circle on it uh, oh my gosh I'm not totally good in explaining things but yeah that's how I make my illustration most of the artists tend to sketch or draw the template first before making the gown and that is actually the proper way but in my case i don't usually do the same thing because i have my own style my comfortable style but anyways i'll be doing the template only if it's necessary or it depends on the illustrations itself after all the goal is to make an illustration according to what's on our mind so please no judging most especially to those professional artists out there so for this one i am sketching the exaggerated puff sleeves and it's quite trendy these days and i've seen a lot of celebrities wearing this kind of outfit just like what alex gonzaga's wearing on her wedding it's quite simple but unique and it reminds me of a princess. I think it's modern version of Princess Sarah. So for here, I'm having a hard time crumpling the sleeves. And one thing that I totally love about the exaggerated puff sleeves is that it reminds me of the Pambansang Kasuota ng Pilipinas. Like, you know, the iconic Filipiniana sleeves. So for here, I am sketching the skirt. It's quite messy and not so detailed because I'm not totally good in explaining things most especially for this one because just like you I'm still learning but maybe if we keep on practicing we will get better I'm sorry for that interruption I just forgot to on my screen record so as you can see here I already sketch the hair part and the hands and as you notice i totally love creating the illustration much more 
messier because I love to create something without worrying like you know it feels like there's still beauty even though it's quite messy so for here I'm going to add more lines in the skirt to emphasize the crumpling and for here I'll be coloring the illustration with some pastel colors and I'm searching for light cyan I don't know if I pronounce that properly you know the greenish blue color and later on I'll be also adding some peach pink color to emphasize that iridescent chiffon fabric So as I said earlier, I'm finding some peach pink color on this to emphasize the effect of iridescent fabric and maybe I'll be putting some different colors because you know I love experimenting things and as you know aside from that coloring the illustration is my favorite part because this is where you are going to experiment different techniques on how to apply the color to the illustrations itself. And actually, I was planning to create a vlog regarding on how to apply shadows and lightning to the illustrations of the gowns or dresses that I've been making because I have my own technique and I wanted to share it to you guys in the next upcoming vlogs because you know this channel is not all about making art and paintings and stuff it is also about how to understand fashion and couture in my own ways you know I'll be sharing to you guys the stock knowledge that I've been learning for years. I hope you guys would wait for that, most especially those aspiring young themes out there who wants to become a fashion designer in the future. I'll assure to you guys that you would learn the basic fashion illustrating in this channel, even though it's kinda weird because I'm not that detailed by detailed explaining the process but this is how it is one thing that i'll share to you guys is to explain the difference between a fashion designer and a fashion illustrator because so some of my friends usually ask me if they are the same but no because the fashion designer are the ones who create the design for their clients and their newest collection the they will be preparing for like fashion weeks or fashion shows in their town while the fashion illustrators they are the ones who work for brands to illustrate their designs and their collection they also teach fashion illustrations and maybe some of them do the designing anyways here i'm almost done and voila this is the finished product of the fashion illustration for now, I kind of sure that it reminds me of Barbie as the Rapunzel because of the puff sleeves and the pastel color of the dress. Actually, I totally like it, but the process, um, I'm quite not sure. As for me, it's much more easier on paper and I think you need to learn drawing first on paper and then digitally. But of course, as I've always said, if we keep on practicing, we will get better. So that's it for today guys. I hope you've learned something from this video. Like if you want to like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!